We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T, and I hope everybody's doing good today. Make sure you guys have your teacups ready. Get ready. Y'all get ready. Yes, you get oh, ready. Because this tea is what? Piping hot. All right, you guys. So unless you've been living under a rock, I'm sure you guys have all heard today, OJ Simpson was just granted parole, okay? So it happened earlier today, and his parole hearing was streamed across multiple channels and was also live streamed. So everybody and their mom have been watching. Everybody's been talking about it on social media. Now, OJ Simpson is now 70 years old, but I cannot damn lie. He looks damn good for his age, okay? So he was convicted back in 2008 for an armed robbery, including two sports members memorabilia dealers in Las Vegas. It happened in a Las Vegas hotel room. And basically, OJ accused them of stealing his memorabilia. And they went busting up in the hotel room with guns. It was just a big old mess, okay? So he ended up getting sentenced to 33 years in prison. So far, he served nine years in prison, which was the minimum sentence, okay? And so today he begged and he begged for him to get parole and he was just granted parole and he's gonna be released from prison October 1st. So there's been a lot of mixed reactions to this. A lot of folks in their feelings. Some people are happy and cheering. Other people are really upset. It kind of reminds me of his damn trial back in 1995 when he was acquitted of murder. It's like that same reaction I'm seeing across social media and out here in the real world. So I want you guys to go ahead and watch this news clip. I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. OJ Simpson breaks down as he learns that he will soon be a free man. He was paroled Thursday as millions across the nation watched. The O.J. Simpson parole hearing. The TV networks carried the proceedings live and it was streamed online. It began at 1 p.m. There was Simpson from the Lovelock Correction Center in the Nevada desert. He wore ill-fitting dungarees and a blue prison shirt. His hair was short cropped and almost totally gray. The four members of the parole board watched on a video screen 100 miles away in Carson City. As the nation watched, Simpson started off with an apology. I'm sorry it happened. I'm sorry to Nevada. It wasn't worth it. You know, nine years away from your family is just, just not worth it. And, and I, I, I'm sorry. There were moments of levity when a board member got his age wrong. And we have that you are currently, well, very recently turned 90 years old. 90, I'm sorry about that. Simpson just turned 70. Simpson's sister Shirley, his close friend Tom Sato, and his oldest daughter Arnell came to support him. Arnell got emotional when she appealed for his release. He's like my best friend and my rock. Also present, Bruce Fromong, the victim of that 2007 armed robbery at the Palace Station Hotel in Las Vegas. Yeah. In an exclusive no, interview inside. broadcast on Inside Edition yesterday, he you. told us he has hey, forgiven yo, Simpson. Real. Bruce was traumatized by, by it. Fortunately, as I said, we talked it out. He knew that uh, I would have never condoned uh, what happened. Uh, he accepted my apology. This is a good man. He made a mistake. After the hour-long hearing, the parole board recessed for deliberation. They returned less than a half hour later, and it was good news for Simpson. My vote is to grant your parole. Grant parole. Agree to grant parole. Simpson was visibly moved. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The reaction is intense. I thought his statements were self-justifying, self-pitying, showing no remorse. Don't be deceived by that uh, big... Uh, uh, teddy bear there in the courtroom. And we spoke to Nicole Brown's sister, Tanya. The one thing too is that he was saying, I apologize to all these other people. And I was having a conversation with myself saying, well, what about us? Famed lawyer Alan Dershowitz was a member of the 1995 Simpson Dream Team. I have a message for OJ if he's listening. Do not go back into the public light. The public is going to exploit you. They're going to take advantage of you become an obscure private news, person. Uh... All right, so you guys just saw that news clip. And like I said, honey, folks are losing their damn mind. You got white folks who are mad that he's getting out. You got black folks celebrating and bringing up slavery and everything else. Honey, the comment section is popping all over social media, okay? And then on top of that, you have the Goldmans. They did an interview yesterday with Good Morning America, and they're still really upset. As we all know, their son, Ron Goldman, um, he was supposedly killed by OJ. Ron Goldman and Nicole Brown Simpson um, were supposedly killed by OJ way back in like 1990. 
94 or something like that. Fred, you know, the consensus seems to be that he is going to get parole. I can only imagine how that makes you feel. Needless to say, upset. Um, what's troubling to me is not only him, but the whole system gives second chances to violent felons, or for that matter, anyone in jail. Ron doesn't get a second chance. And Kim, you've said that these last several years with OJ in prison have been a reprieve. That now may be over. Yeah, I mean, we lived our life with him walking the streets and sharing the same roads that we did. And with him being locked up in Love Lock, it's been a chance for us to kind of reclaim some control over our life and have some, some semblance of sanity. Um, so I'm preparing myself for that to be changing come October. One of the reasons he's likely to get parole is because he was never convicted, as we all know, uh, of the murder, even though that civil jury, 12 jurors found him him liable. Now, that the parole board doesn't take that into account, but you and your attorneys think they should have. Absolutely. I think his whole history of violence, ignoring the law, no respect for the law, uh, no remorse for virtually anything he's ever done is an indication of who he is as a person. I don't think there's any reason to think that he's going to be a decent human being in society. I think he's proved otherwise. And, and Kim, you know, I, you all have chosen uh, to be part of this as well for the last 20 years. You didn't choose it initially for sure. And, and you've gotten some criticism on social media for continuing to pursue the case. What is your response to all that? I, I hope that no one ever has to walk in our shoes, but we know that millions of people on a daily basis and a yearly basis are impacted by trauma and crime. And the and so they're really upset. They feel like he should not get out. It's not okay. You know, and I understand that. And I'm going to be honest with you. I'm one of them people. I do think OJ has something to do with them damn killings. I don't give a damn what nobody says. But that does not negate the fact that he was found not guilty, okay? So in a court of law in America, if you are found not guilty, regardless of how, you know, the public feels, regardless of how anybody feels about it, he was found not guilty in a court of law, okay? Fuck public opinion, we're talking about a court of law. So being that he was found not guilty, unfortunately, there's nothing you can do about it, Ron Goldman's family. You know what I'm saying? I know it hurts, and I know you guys are upset to see the man that you guys believe killed your son and had something to do with your son's death. I can only imagine the pain that they've been going through for the past 24 years. But again, he was not in prison for the murder of your child. He was in prison for the sports memorabilia robbery, okay? That's what he was in prison for, and he served a lot of time. He's been in there for nine years. From what I'm hearing, he was a model inmate. They haven't had any conflicts with him. Um, you know, and he was granted parole. You know, all you can do is accept that. I hope OJ takes this seriously, and he becomes obscure. I don't want to see OJ getting a reality TV show. I don't want to see the chronicles of OJ Simpson and Khloe Kardashian. I don't want to see the Kardashians meet up with OJ. I don't want to see no reality TV, nothing about OJ Simpson. I want his ass to go wherever he's going to go, take that $600,000 pension, and go sit your ass down somewhere, okay? Because after your black ass was acquitted of that murder way back then, you should have sat your ass down, okay? You should have just sat down and ate your food. But you got arrogant, you got cocky, you felt untouchable, you was writing all types of books talking about if I did it. OJ did a lot of fuck when he got acquitted from that murder, okay? Let's keep it 100, okay? He's still was not really rocking with black folks like that he got acquitted and he went crazy and you know sometimes god has a way of humbling you okay and that's what happened to oj simpson he got his ass humbled so i feel now that he's getting out he's been granted parole I feel that oj simpson will be a much humbler person and he will eventually sit his ass down somewhere Spend time with his grandchildren, spend time with his kids, and live out the rest of his years, okay? So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping, honey. I know the comment section about to be lit, eh? Hey. <laughs> so let me know what you guys think about this whole OJ Simpson thing with him getting granted parole. Do you agree with it? Do you disagree with it? Do you feel like he had something to do with the murders way back then? Do you think that he didn't have anything to do with it? But like I said, even if he did have something to do with it, that does not negate what he was just in prison for, okay? Two separate incidences, two separate, you know, conviction, non-conviction. You just can't compare the two. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that like button and make sure you click that bell so you can be down with the notification squad honey so let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment all right deuces
Hey you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.